Okay, here we have the basic heat exchanger that consists of the bottom part of a plastic soda can. So the bottom part has been cut off and then this Tigon tubing runs down from this bucket and down into the tray and then it loops a couple of times around and then out the sides. And what I did was use a, a hole puncher to punch a hole in the side for the inlet, which is right here, and then the outlet right here. And uh, so that I was able to then thread the Tigon tubing into the tray, loop it around a couple times, and then pack the whole tray with ice. And now water flows from this bucket by hydrostatic head and through this Tigon tubing and then through the heat exchanger and then out the hole and into the sink. So you can set this up at home yourself. Notice that I've sort of attached the heat exchanger to the, to the uh, base here to make sure it doesn't move. I also had to attach the Tigon tubing to the side of the bucket so that the Tigon tubing then goes down into the bucket and then by siphoning the fluid flows through the Tigon tubing through the exchanger and then out. So what we want to do then is try to keep this packed with ice all the time, see how close we can maintain the bath temperature to zero degrees C. And then of course we measure the temperature coming in from the bucket and then as it passes through the exchanger the temperature drops and then we want to measure the temperature coming out of the Tigon tubing. And then by siphoning, you can see it's flowing out in a steady flow. And you can measure then with a watch what the volumetric flow rate would be by just collecting a certain volume of fluid. Let's say you use a measuring cup uh, to do that over a given period of time, and then you can get the flow rate.